This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham and I've got Amy Tibben back with me. Welcome back to FYI. <laughs> Joining us, from, from, joining us from Kempel, from the Beth Donovan Hospice, you are the Outreach Coordinator. Welcome back. Always so much going on, but it's your 30th anniversary this year, and you're making it big. Yeah, it's uh, it's an exciting time at hospice. Um, we've been very busy. Um, you're right, we did just celebrate our 30th anniversary on Wednesday uh, with an outdoor event. Um, we invited, um, you know, volunteers and clients and just the general public to come out and celebrate with us um, at our hospice, which is on uh, French Settlement Road, just outside of Kempville. And uh, we had entertainment, uh, we had a bouncy castle for the kids and face painting. Um, it was a little chilly, um, but uh, everybody was pretty good sports about it. Um, we lit the, the bonfire and we roasted some marshmallows and had s'mores. Um, you know, the mayor was there um, and she just gave a wonderful speech about how important hospice care is um, and, and how valuable it is for our community. Um, and we also had some wonderful volunteers and clients speak about the difference that hospice care can make in the lives of our community members. Um, it just was really a really touching evening and we were able to raise some funds through an auction that evening as well. So um, all in all, it was a successful event and um, it, was, it was a really good tribute to Beth Donovan Hospice and all that um, it has been able to achieve over the past 30 years. And you know what jumps out at me when you're just explaining this too is you know you had bouncy castles and face painting for the children. Hospice yeah. care involves children. So yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. I, I'm just so glad that you, you, you involved the children. Yeah, it, you, hospice care involves families. You know, um, yeah, we su directly support the client in need, but we support their caregivers. You know, we support their families. Um, we can go into their homes and provide equipment that allows them to stay at home for as long as possible, if that's what they want, if that's part of their plan. Um, we can provide uh, grief supports. Um, we can provide in-home visiting volunteers, you know, and of course our day hospice program um, for those clients who are able can get out of the house for the day um, and, and have a day away, you know, and just um, feel cared for and supported. Um, and that provides respite for the caregivers, you know, um, some relief for, for the strains, the joys, but also the strains that are going on in the home. Um, and so it really, you're right, it's for everybody. It's for the kids, it's for the family, it's, it's for the, the client, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and part of hospice uh, care is uh, after care as well too. And like you, you have the, the support groups and, and counseling for, for adults and both children too. Uh, yes, yeah. Um, we primarily um, our grief and bereavement counselor works with adults, um, but we we will make sure that the whole family receives the care that they need. Um, we have connections within the community, and we work with existing community organizations to make sure people are accessing the care that they need. Absolutely, absolutely. And 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 next week you've got a great event coming up too. Yeah, um, we've got two big events coming up next week. Um, on uh, Thursday, October the 13th, um, we're hosting an evening with B.J. Miller. Uh, B.J. Miller is one of the most preeminent speakers on hospice and palliative care. Um, he is the co-author of a book um, entitled um, A Beginner's Guide to the End, Practical Advice for Living Life and Facing Death. Um, he co-authored that with Shoshana Berger, and um, he speaks um, quite eloquently about what matters most at the end of life. Um, and oftentimes it's not the things that we think. Um, it's he, he, he had his own uh, near death experience and he talks about his experience as a patient. And when he was lying in hospital thinking that he was gonna die, what really mattered. And he tells this story about a, a snowball um, someone, it had been snowing outside and someone brought in a snowball um, for him to just feel that in his hand and hold it and have that experience and, and, and what that meant to him um, and how we can take those ideas of what really matters to people when they're at end of life, whether it's the smell of, 
you know, their favorite cookies baking in the oven or listening to the birds or, you know, having an open window and feeling the breeze on your face. He talks about those things um, and, and why they really matter and, and um, the experiences that we need to have at end of life um, that, that make it more meaningful for the person who is dying. Um, so he's really wonderful. Um, he's going to be at Dominion Chalmers Center, the Carlton Dominion Chalmers Center in Ottawa. Um, there's a meet and greet that's happening between six and seven. Um, there are limited tickets to that. I'm not sure if it's sold out. They were only going to sell 100 tickets to that, but you can go online to our website, www.bethdonovanhospice.ca, and there's a link there that you can click to see if you can get tickets to that. Um, and there is limited capacity to the meet and greet. And then the presentation um, with a question and answer period as well starts at seven and goes until nine. And there are tickets available for that, I'm quite sure. Um, and it's um, general admission and they're $50. Um, hospice volunteers though, they, they will receive a deal. So their tickets are only $25 um, and students as well. So if you are you know, a student at the University of Ottawa or, or any of the local um, institutions, um, colleges, it's uh, $25 for those folks. And we're doing group packages too. So if you purchase four or more tickets, it's $35. Um, and this is an event not to be missed. He does not come to Canada very often. Um, and uh, he really is, he has important things to say and he really is quite an eloquent, eloquent speaker. So I, uh, I encourage everyone, and it's not just for health professionals, you know, anybody who's interested in end of life care and the importance of hospice um, should think about attending this event. Excellent. It's so nice that you provide these kinds of training or, or learning experiences for people that uh, want to get involved in hospice. Yeah, I agree. I think, you know, there's there's still a certain amount of people out there who don't understand what hospice care is um, and what it can do. Um, and, and there's maybe, dare I say, a little bit of fear around on hospice. They're unsure of uh, whether or not they want to get involved in something like this and, and, and what it would be like. So I think you're right. I think educational events are the way to um, sort of approach that. Let's, let's all learn together about how we can do this better. And I mean, to have somebody like B.J. Miller talk where he's experienced a near death too. Yeah, to bring that personal experience and, and to hear someone say, you know, look, this is what mattered to me. And so it helps people understand, oh, I can do that, you know? Right, 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 absolutely. And that, so that's on October 13th. On October 14th, you've got uh, yeah. in, in Kempville. Yeah, right in Kempville. So this is our October 14th all day event. It's a rural community hospice day. It's an education day. And again, you know, it is for professionals and for our volunteers, but even just for community members who are interested in doing more for um, rural hospice care. So if you're interested in volunteering or, or um, you know, maybe you're coming from another community that doesn't have a hospice and you want to learn more about how to do this, um, you could certainly attend this event. The idea is to get all of the rural community hospice groups together um, and create um, a moment where we talk about our successes, what works for us, and where we sort of learn from each other. Um, and, and so we can grow our knowledge and our understanding. Um, this event will um, take place from 8 a.m. until 4.30 at the North Grenville Municipal Center in Kempville. Tickets are just $25 for a full day event. It includes your lunch and wow. snacks. Um, and we have a wonderful keynote speaker in David Kennedy. Um, he's a trained trauma and grief counselor with a long history in hospice care. Um, he's traveled the world to learn about um, different death and grief practices in, in all of the different cultures. Um, and he, he uses storytelling to kind of talk to people about um, what dying can be. Um, and um, he will really take the time to speak about rural hospices, why they matter, um, and those experiences, and, and, and the power of connection in rural communities, and, and how we can all kind of work together to, to do this better, right? That's right, that's right. And you know, I, I, anytime that you have an opportunity to network with other agencies, you know, and you can talk about what works for you, 
you know, you're, you're going to learn firsthand because you know fr from uh, what they're telling you, it works. So you're learning from firsthand people. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And that's the goal with this event. Um, and tickets are still available. Again, if you go to the Beth Donovan Hospice website, there is a link there. And everyone is welcome to attend this event. So, so yes, you know, the professionals, the volunteers, the, the, the community members from around Ontario that, that help at their hospice or work at their hospice, but also just if you're interested, if you're just, this is something that you want to know a little bit more about, um, you're welcome to, to attend this event. All right, and how do you get tickets for this, Amy? BethDonovanHospice.ca. Okay. When you go to our homepage, you'll see there's a banner right across the top. Both events are there, and you just need to click on it, and you can purchase the tickets online. All right, now we're, we're celebrating 30 years of the Beth Donovan Hospice, uh, and I know it's a goal for this year to make $30,000. There's only a couple of months left. How's it going? <laughs> Oh, it's going well. We're working really hard. Um, I have to say, I was just at um, 100 Women Who Care about North Grenville, um, and uh, we, uh, those lovely ladies have decided to support hospice, so that was a good chunk of change in the bank for us, so thank you. Thank you so much to those wonderful women. Um, we also, uh, B&H has just done, B&H Grocer has just done an amazing job of selling the paper butterflies. So thanks again so much to them and also to all of the, the local businesses that have been selling the butterflies and donating items for our auction. Um, and we did really well with our auction um, at the anniversary celebration. But now it's time to gear up for our Christmas auction. And so I know it's October, but I'm going to talk about Christmas. Um, every <laughs> We're going to run our Everything Under the Evergreen event again. So this is an online auction. Um, and we are looking for local businesses and indeed just individuals who maybe want to put together a gift basket to donate some items that we can put up for auction to raise $30,000 for hospice for 30 years of service. Um, so if you are interested in donating an item or indeed just making a financial contribution, please reach out to me, um, amy.tibben at bethdonovanhospice.ca or you can give us a call uh, at 613-258-9611 um, and we'll, uh, we'll talk about how you can help us uh, meet our goals and how you can help get, help us get ready for Christmas. Oh, excellent. It's never too early to get ready for Christmas in my eyes. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. We've got a couple of volunteers who are um, already talking about making our Christmas puddings. If you haven't had a Beth Donovan Hospice Christmas pudding, you haven't really celebrated Christmas. <laughs> so um, we are looking for 28 28 ounce cans so if you can get those old tomato cans or peach cans wash them out give them a good rinse for us please um, and then drop them off at um, 1107 French Settlement Road we will gladly take those we use those to uh, boil the Christmas puddings so we're looking for donations of cans excellent excellent well it's never too early to talk about Christmas that's for sure that's for sure <laughs> is there anything Great. else you'd like to mention before we wrap up Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me today. We're so excited about these events. If anybody has any questions about tickets or, you know, what the event is all about, please don't hesitate to give us a call. 258-9611. Check out our website at bethdonovanhospice.ca. And if you're interested at all with volunteering or becoming a hospice care worker, that's how to get hold of, uh, a hold of you as well. Yes, always looking for volunteers. And we have something for everyone. We take committee volunteers, fundraising volunteers, gardeners, bakers, um, in-home visiting volunteers, drivers. We'll find the right fit for you. Excellent, excellent. Well, once again, thank you very much for joining us here on FYI. We've got Amy Tibben from the Beth Donovan Hospice. You're the outreach coordinator. Thank you very much for joining us and telling us all about the Beth Donovan Hospice. 30 years, happy anniversary. Mm -hmm.